Math Society. Here we are back with another very interesting video. Today's our topic is how to solve our radical equations. So the first question arises in our mind is that what is radical equation? Basically, an equation in which variable, which is x, y, z, is under a radical sign means in under root sign, and variable x, y, z. So a equation in which variable, any variable is under a radical, then it is called a radical equation. So let us check out some examples. And before going to examples, check out the rules, how to solve it. the first example and it is called a radical equation in this video we also find the extraneous root and a solution set first of all the first step is to isolate the radical so for this step we follow this step 3x plus 100 which is equals to x plus 4 at this step we want to take square on both sides 3x plus 100 under root scaling to remove the radical sign which is equals to x plus 4 square. So as we know that the radical sign means for example the radical of x which is the fractional form is x to the power 1 over 2. So this 2 can be cancelled out with the square. So we can write here 3x plus 100 which is equals to opening the square which is x square plus 16 plus 8x. Here we use our formula. This step we open the square formula. Now to solve this. So take these terms into the right hand side. So we can write as x square plus 16 plus 8x minus 3x minus 100 which is equals to 0. Now we can simplify as x square plus 5x minus 84 which is equals to 0. Here it is a quadratic equation and to solve this equation by any method by factorization completing square and a quadratic formula. So we use a factorization method here and we can make the factors so first of all we divide 84 so 2 which is 42 and 2 41 as in and it is 3 7 and 7 as in the previous videos we detailly discussed the three methods of solving uh, the quadratic equation so now we want to find two factors which give this equation as we can write um, 3 multiplied by 4 so 12 and 7 and we need a positive sign so the larger number will positive sign and this will be negative and 12 minus 7 which is 5 and when we multiply these two terms it will be a minus 84 so we find the two factors which will give this answer so we can write here x square plus 12x minus 7 minus 84 which is equals to 0. Now we take common x, x plus 12 minus 7 and x plus 12 which is equals to 0. Now we can write as x minus 7 into x plus 12 which is equals to 0. After this we can write either x minus 7 is equals to 0 or x plus 12 which is equals to 0. So x which is equals to 7 and x which is equals to minus 12. To check out it is a root of the question because in this type of questions we reach the equation by following several steps. Let us check it out that these two roots are the extraneous root or the solution. So we call this equation is first equation and we put these two values into the given equation and check it out is it satisfy the equation or not. So if x is equal to 7, if we put the value of x7 in equation 1, 
Now the first equation is this. 3 and the value of x we suppose as 7 plus 100. So we check the basically the equality. Minus 7 which is equal to 4. Basically we check the equality. Another step. 21 plus 100 is under root minus 7 which is equal to 4. And it will be 121 under root minus 7 which is equal to 4 and it will be a 11 minus 7 which is equal to 4 and this implies that 4 is equal to 4. It means equality hold and check out for x is equal to minus 12 the other root which is equal to x minus 12 in first equation. First equation 3 the value of x is minus 12 and plus 100 under root minus 7 which is equal to 4. Basically we check this equality holds or not. It will be minus 36 plus 100 under root minus 7 which is equal to 4. Now it will be our 64 minus 7 which is equal to 4 and 8 plus 12 which is equal to 4 and 8 plus 12 is 20 which does not equal to 4. So it is a false. So basically it's x is equal to 12 is the extraneous root not a solution because it does not satisfy the original equation and x is equal to 7 is a solution. So we can write as that is we can write the solution set of this equation as which is equals to. So let us take another example of radical equations. So in this type of question how to solve it as we follow the steps that is already described in the starting of the video. So you follow this these steps. x minus 2 square we write this radical form as 1 over 3 which is equals to 4. Basically we aim to remove this radical sign. So to remove this we need to power of this nth root. So 1 over 3 and to take a cube on both sides for cube side x minus 2 square which is equals to 64. Now it is very easy to solve for remove this square take square root on both sides. Whenever to apply a square root on both sides always apply a plus minus sign and it will be under root 64. x minus 2 which is equals to plus minus 8. Either x minus 2 which is equals to positive 8 or x minus 2 which is equals to minus 8. So we can write as x is equals to 8 plus 2 and in this case x is equals to minus 8 plus 2 and x is equals to 10 and x is equals to minus 6. So check out the solution for the extraneous root. Put this value in this equation. So we have x minus 2 square under root q which is equals to 4 and here the value of x is 10. So basically we check this equality holds or not. So 10 minus 2 square and we can write under cube is which is this form and 4. Now to solve this 8 1 over 3 which is equals to 4 and 8 square which is equals to 64 1 over cube which is equals to 4. We can write 64 as 4 key power cube 4 3 times is 64 so we can write as which is equals to 4 here this cancel out with each other so we are left with this and it is true condition so the other value which is x is equals to minus 6 in the original equation so we can write as 6 minus 2 square and cube under root which is equal to 4. This implies that minus 8 square 
1 over 3 which is equal to 4. Here the square is 64 1 over cube which is equal to 4. And basically we and we can write as 4 cube 1 over cube which is equal to 4 and this implies that 4 is equal to 4. So equality holds so both x is equal to 10 and x is equal to minus 6 is a solution set of the original equation here there is no extraneous root. Solution set is 10 and minus 6. So here is a method of solving the radical equations. So it's all about today's lecture. Like this video and learn anything from this video then don't forget to subscribe, like and comment and share.